Hold on, this isn't Sweden. No, we're very much still in Scotland and I'm doing this intro the day before my trip, mainly because when I leave the house tomorrow morning, it's gonna be the middle of the night. In fact, I think I'm gonna drive up to Aberdeen about two o'clock in the morning, jump on a flight, in fact, a couple of flights across to Stockholm. And when I get to Stockholm, if we've still got some daylight, there's a couple of things I'd like to show you over there as well. So this video is kind of by demand because I've had a lot of feedback that says, instead of starting your video at destination, why don't you show us how you got there? So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. Hopefully it'll be successful. Now Montrose is just along the coast there, so I'm gonna walk home, try and get a few hours sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Well folks, here we are, good morning, and you've guessed it, I did not sleep at all, not even 10 minutes. You know what it's like when you're trying to force yourself to sleep and it just becomes even harder? Well, that's what it's been like over the last few hours, and also I'm a bit of a worrier, so I was starting to worry about my connection time in Amsterdam today, but that's still a bit off, let's get ourselves into Aberdeen first. I've got a 6am flight today, and I wouldn't call that an early morning flight, I'd call that an all-nighter, especially when you consider all the faff you've got to go through before a flight, and the fact that I'm a good hour's drive away from the airport, so it's not ideal, but let's get going. Well, it's now just after two o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting in McDonald's with a wrap. That'll keep me going for a while and it's certainly cheaper than airport food. But I'm just going to park up here in the Bucksburn area of the city and then take the airport bus for the last leg. Because if I'd parked at the airport, it would have cost me about 45 quid. But here I can park for free and just take the bus for a couple of stops and that'll just be a few quid. So I think that's definitely the way to go. Well, that's the rain on. Let's get out of Scotland, eh? So there we go, it's the 727 bus we're looking for. Oh, that's a worry, it says the first bus is at 4.20. Ah, no, it's the last bus of the day is at 3.18. Okay, that's the one we're going for. So everything's going to plan so far, let's just hope that last bus of the day turns up, eh? Ah, here it is, bang on time, there we go. Thank you. So here we are at Aberdeen Airport. You know what I was just thinking? It was about four and a half years ago in this very spot that I filmed the introduction to my first ever YouTube video. It's still on the channel, go and check it out. That'd be cringy for me, but it could be funny for you. Now we're about to go inside there and get on a KLM flight at six o'clock that'll take us over to Amsterdam. Then we've got a two hour connection to get on to Stockholm. So I hope everything's on time. That's a wee bit tighter than I would normally like. So let's see how we get on. And do you want to know the funny thing about that intro? As soon as I stepped into the terminal building right here, I was stopped by the police. My very first video and they were asking me why was I filming? Some things never change, eh? Well, that was certainly a first today in that I was the very first passenger through security. I tell you what, that makes it a lot less stressful. But of course, it also means that there's pretty much nothing open. Now, the main reason that I'm a wee bit concerned about only having two hours in Amsterdam is I know that taxiing at Schiphol can take forever. So let's hope that we get a favorable gate. Also, I'm not really sure when you're transiting, can you go through a transit lane or do you have to go through security again and passport checks? Because if you have to do all that stuff at one of the world's busiest airports, that could be a problem. So like I say, let's just hope this first flight's on time. Oh, we seem to be on time so far. Fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning from the flight deck. My name is Martijn Heinsbroek, captain on today's flight. 
Bel myself, first officer Leinaert and the cabin crew a very warm welcome aboard to Bel 190 destination Amsterdam. Right now it's about 10 minutes uh, prior our scheduled uh, departure time. Uh, we are fully ready to go. However, it's uh, rather busy in Amsterdam uh, Schiphol Airport this morning. So uh, therefore, air traffic control told us we need to wait at present position for about uh, 15 more minutes before we're allowed to depart. We told air traffic control that we are ready to go, so hopefully departure time comes forward a little bit. Our flight time today is uh, rather short, it's 1 hour and 10 minutes. And with this flight time, I do expect you arrive on time in Amsterdam. to you now. We hope you have a pleasant stay on board. For now, I wish you a good day and thank you for choosing KLM. Kevin Group, prepare for landing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So we've arrived on time, in fact about five minutes ahead of time. That was a really nice little flight across and I'm amazed that we got a coffee and a sandwich on a one hour KLM flight. Well done guys. And also when we arrived they said it's going to be a bus gate so your heart sinks a bit but they do everything really efficiently over here. You just parked up, got off the plane, onto the bus that was just waiting there for you. I wish they could do that in Edinburgh now. We've got to find our transfer gate. I think we're going from gate D. Let's just check the screens. 10.40 Stockholm, D82 and they're saying it's 24 minutes walk. Right, I guess we'd better get going, eh? Aye, so D82 is straight ahead and as expected there is a passport check. But I don't think we have to go through security again. That'd be a real bonus. Well, it was a bit of a Disneyland queue to get through passport control, but it kept moving. Everyone was super friendly and I noticed they were proactively pulling people out who had tight connections. So that was good to see. You don't always see that. Now, we're going to D82, which is still about 20 minutes walk. And I keep forgetting that it's D82. So could you remember that for me? There's one of those nice KLM lounges in there, but this is not the channel if you want to see inside lounges, I'm afraid. Well, very rarely anyway. Hey, you know what? I just realized that something very unexpected happened on that flight. I stayed awake. I've been up now for coming up 24 hours. I mean, I did go to bed, but I certainly didn't sleep. So I thought I'd have been out cold on the flight this morning. Maybe I'll save my sleep for the next one, eh? Oh, look at that, how the airport used to be. The only way I can tell, actually, is from these old planes. They're wonderful, aren't they? But stop getting distracted, Steve. We've got to get to this gate now. There's a question. Do you remember what the gate number was? Because I've forgotten already. OK, 
Okay, the tiredness has arrived at last. Well, this leg up to Stockholm is completely full today, so I think I'm just going to rest my head here and sleep. Dear passengers, you can also stow your luggage underneath the seat in front of you, except for the emergency exit. Welcome to Stockholm, another cracking wee flight with KLM there and although I slept for chunks of it I was still able to capture the snowy landscape as we came in, absolutely fantastic but with light fading and me feeling a bit tired I've treated myself to the fast train into town, I'll tell you in a moment how much it cost. This is the one I think, the Orlando Express. They know how to polish a floor in Sweden, don't they?
The great thing about the Orlando Express, the fast train into the centre of Stockholm, is that it only takes 18 minutes. Now that beats any other form of public transport by at least half an hour. And with my energy fading fast and the light fading fast, I think this was the way to go today. But the downside is, it costs about 28 quid one way. But I think I deserve this wee treat today, don't I? about £1.55 per minute. I think this will be the most expensive train I've ever been on. Well, I've got to say it, that was absolutely fantastic and it must be way better than any other form of transport, even a taxi. So if you have a weak moment like me and fancy spending 28 quid to get into Stockholm, this is the way to go. Just a quick step outside to see what the temperature's like. It's not too bad. I think it's about minus two Celsius at the moment. I could cope with that. And I'm just gonna head back inside now and drop off this bag because I have got about, oh, I can't even count, I'm so tired. I've got about maybe six hours, but it's gonna be dark in about an hour. And that'll be me for Stockholm. I'm so sorry. Every time I come here, I'm just passing through. I promise, I promise I will come back this year and give Stockholm a proper video. But in the meantime, let's make the most of what we've got. Look at this, they even give you a carpet to get into the main station. Stockholm Central Station is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? With the Christmas decorations still up on the ceiling. Today is the 11th or the 12th of January. Is that not bad luck? Maybe not in Sweden. But just a wee bit of a clue for you. This is exactly where the next video is going to start from but it might not be going where you expect it to. And that's a bit of a shame, but I guess that's just travel, isn't it? So, while we've still got some time, let's go and find that left luggage. Ah, look at this, proper luggage lockers. You don't often get this in the UK anymore, so it's really good to see. Let's see how much it is. 39 an hour, hmm. For the amount of time I'm looking to store my bag, that'd be about 20 quid for this little bag. I'm starting to run out of money already. I need to think about this. So there we are, Central Station. And like I say, we'll be back there later. But for now, we're going to head somewhere that I'm confident enough to say you've heard of it, even if you know nothing about Stockholm.
Oh, it's very, very slippery here. Place your bets now, folks. Am I gonna fall on this trip? I'll give you very good odds for it. Look at this, you can order your Max Burger from outside. This must be for when you're crawling home drunk at night and feeling a wee bit peckish. Oh no, folks, we've got a bit of a problem here. I can't connect to the internet. My phone says it's got 5G, but it can't find a secure server. Does anyone know what that means? This is a bit of a recurring problem for me. But anyway, I think the building behind us here is the one that I'm looking for, but I just can't confirm it. So if it's not, I'm gonna look a bit stupid, but it won't be the first time, will it? So if I am in the right place, that would mean that the building here on the right-hand side is the credit banking building. And here in August 1973, just a couple of weeks after I was born, actually, there was a hostage situation. And in the aftermath, the hostages were siding more with their captors than they were with the police. So therefore, we have the birthplace of the theory of Stockholm Syndrome. But as usual, I've got absolutely no idea if I'm in the right place. Please forgive me if I'm not. When we flew in over Sweden today, it looked like all the lakes and the rivers were frozen solid. But here in Stockholm, the pleasure boats seem to be operating as normal. Now the light is beginning to fade a bit this afternoon, but that's okay, I'm fine with that. Because like I say, I want to come back at some point this year and give Stockholm a proper explore. But for now, there's still one place I'd like to show you. Somewhere that's unique and actually one of a series of places. If I can find it, of course. It looks like here if you've got your own skates, and I'm sure if you're Swedish you do, that you can just come and use this ice rink in the park for free. Unlike the ones in the UK eh, that completely rip you off. I tell you what, I'm actually glad it's cold this afternoon. It's keeping me awake. Apart from maybe 20 minutes nap on the last flight, that's me being up for 31 hours now. I'll sleep tonight, just not in a hotel though. Ach, I'm sorry, that hasn't quite gone to plan. The other thing I was wanting to show you here in Stockholm was the Metro, because it's been described as the world's longest art gallery. All the stations are really cool and they're decorated and painted in different ways, but you need to go through the barrier system to get in. I don't know about tickets or anything like that. I'm a wee bit tired tonight, so we'll leave that one for the next time. But I promise you, when we come back, I'll get a day ticket and we'll go around them all, okay? I must admit, I'm almost too tired to do an outro to this video, but thank you so much for watching this travel day. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next week with a very exciting train journey. Thanks again, folks. Bye-bye.